Hey, what's up guys? JD Venom here back with you for another WWE 2K17 Best and Worst Community Creations here this week. If you guys are new around here, please rate, subscribe, drop a comment, follow me on Twitter, and like the Facebook page where both links are down below. Tell your friends and family and come and join the JD Venom Nation on YouTube. And of course, you guys know tomorrow night live here on my channel, it is going to be WCW Reborn Thursday Nitro in our main event this week, uh, rematch from last week, but it's going to be for the United States Championship, a huge upset last week with Stardust defeating the U.S. Champion Brave White. Could we see a shakeup? in the United States Championship Division. Sting is in the weights to see who he's going to face at Sold Out. But uh, our main event this week is going to be Bray Wyatt versus Stardust for the United States Championship. Be sure to come out. It's going to be fucking awesome. And uh, yeah, I want you guys there to come check it out. But enough about that. Let's get into our top three best and worst community creations here this week. And let's start off with our top three best, of course. And let's start with number three. Coming in at number three this week is. Boom, 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 boom. Beep, 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 beep. Don't, 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 don't. Na 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 if you guys watch uh, OSW Review, if you guys know what I'm talking about, leave a thumbs up for that or leave a comment and say, yeah, I know what you're trying to do there. But Taz, it is Taz coming in at number three here this week. And uh, WWE's version of Taz coming out to the ring with the 13 uh, shirt and uh, with the Taz logo. Um, very, very nicely built as Taz with the towel, of course, uh, the signature towel coming out to the ring with Taz. And, um... Can't really see his face too, too well, but it, like, you know, take my word, his face looks pretty accurate to Taz. The tattoos are there, um, the attire's there, the, 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 uh, fuck the world, um, you know, you know, the, 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 the three, ac the three letters acronym, I can't even talk today, the three letter acronym is on his right fist, as it should be, and, uh, yeah, I mean, we all, we all know who Taz is, former, uh, ECW champion and um, just a fucking wrestling machine and uh, yeah very very good creation very solid creation to start off here on our account down here today and Taz it's Taz comes in at number three this week coming at number two is Psychosis or Psychosis whatever you want to call them but you guys know who this guy is from the original WCW, the original Cruiserweights from WCW back in the day when Psychosis and Rey Mysterio and Hutu Guerrero and Ultimo Dragon and Dean Malenko and Eddie Guerrero, I can just go on and on and on and on and on with the Cruiserweight lineup in WCW, but this is Psychosis in fucking, fucking great mask on point, hair on point, um, his attire on point, very very simple creation for the most part, but simple is always good to me. I don't like it when people try to overdo shit. We see people try to overdo shit on these countdowns and it ends up failing tremendously. But Psychosis here, um, the high flying luchador, looks very, very solid. Um, you know, he has everything there the boots to the, um, you know, and not too many people notice this, but you know, and he has a little. Um, I guess like the little uh, symbol on his uh, on his right and left fist. I guess you want to call it like the uh, I don't know if you call it the Mel symbol. I, I don't know, but he has a little circle with the arrow on there, very reminiscent to what he actually wore back in the day in 1997, 98 when he was in WCW. Very good wrestler, by the way, uh, is the closest. But he does come in at number two here this week for our best community creations. And coming in at number one this week is Don't treat me like a woman. Don't treat me like a man. Treat me like a China. No, 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 no. Treat me like a man. <laughs> Again, OSW. And you know, I was watching a lot of OSW for the past couple of nights, so that's probably why I'm I'm quoting them here in this episode here. But anyway, 
China, China, China comes in at number one here this week with the Triple H, uh, you know, theme music. And yeah, we can't really hear the theme, but you can hear the, uh, you can see the Italian Tron in the background with Triple H. So very, very nice touch. The late, great Joni Lawler. Can't believe she still passed away uh, last year, which is still a shock to me, you know. I mean, you know, uh, China passed away uh, just a couple of days ago. Jimmy Snuka passed away. So it's just very sad when you hear uh, when these uh, wrestlers pass away. But, I mean, they can live forever, you know, in, you know, WWE Network uh, where we get to watch them anytime and even in these video games. And when people make great creations like these, you know, I don't really, you know, don't really get too mad at that. Uh, seeing great creations like this, but China, and uh, you know, everything's there with her, um, you know, obviously, uh, you know, she was, you know, a fucking Amazon woman, built like a fucking horse, uh, if that makes any sense, but she was built, and, uh, very muscular, very, um, you know, very, not want to say mannish, but very masculine, I should say, um, was China, but there you go, China, the ninth one of the world, comes in, at number one this week as our top community creation that is the best well <laughs> oh man you guys ready for the worst are you guys ready for the worst i got three fucking shit-tastic calls here that made it into the top three worst community creations here and uh man i just don't know what to say but let's get into number three guys coming in number three this week for our top Three worst community creations is Chris Saban. Mercy Machine Guns Chris Saban. Former TNA World Champion. Remember that? TNA has some. Oh god, TNA has some awful world champions. Remember when Eric Young was a champion? It's like, this is just random facts like that Eric Young was the TNA World Champion. You know, Chris Saban was the TNA World Champion. Just random, random World Champions in TNA over the past few years that makes you scratch your head. Even like Eddie Edwards is like, really Eddie Edwards? Like, I mean, he's great and everything, but World Champion? Like, I don't know, I don't know. But anyway, this Chris Saban looks like absolutely fucking horrendous. First and foremost, his hair, his hair color, I should say, it, it, I don't know if it's just me, but does it have like a, it doesn't like spot off a little bit of a gray in his hair. Obviously, it's black. Obviously, I can see that it's black, but it, it looks like it has like a little shine to it, to the fact that it makes it look a little bit gray. And I don't like that. It doesn't look natural at all with his hair color. Uh, his beard doesn't match his hair color at all. Um, I mean, I mean, I thought Chris. Well, yeah, Chris Saban. He did. He does have a little bit of a lighter beard though. So, so they kind of got it right with that. But it doesn't look like him at all. I don't like. I don't even like his attire. I don't even know what the hell the attire is supposed to be. His his attire is supposed to be like Morrissey machine guns type of attire, and it does kind of represent that. But I don't remember any of those logos or anything being on that on his attire like that. Uh, maybe they just say, you know what, fuck it, I'm just gonna put whatever I can on this guy, and he's just coming out all generic, not running to the ring, not being high energy as Chris Saban is. He comes in the ring and fucking flexes. What the fuck is that shit? What, like, what is this? Like, this is, like, is he, is he fucking be a fucking uh, bodybuilder now? Is he going for the strongman contest? What the fuck is this? Chris Saban's supposed to be flipping the ring and doing fucking kip-ups and shit. I don't fucking know what the hell this is. But Chris Saban, former TNA World Champion Chris Saban, actually, comes in at number three here this week as one of our top, top worst can be creations. Coming in at number two is Ted... DBRC Jr. What? Okay. Oh my god. I am rubbing my head right now. I have my eyes closed as I'm looking at this here. Okay. And I know it didn't make any sense when I say with my eyes closed, but I can just see him with my eyes closed. But seriously, like, why does it look like he was dipped in baby oil? Why is there so much oil in this fucking guy? Are you fucking kidding me? You know what, if you do, you do a scoop slam on this guy, this guy slides right underneath the ring, okay? That's first and foremost. This guy has way too much fucking baby oil on him, okay? It, 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 looks, like, it looks like a fucking oil slick, okay? Like, if you, want, if you want oil, if you want to struck oil, if you need gas, uh, or oil for gas, then you can just, you know, put a fucking, 
needle inside of uh, Ted DiBiase to drink all the oil that you fucking need. Jesus Christ, look at this. I don't know, it, that by itself is horrible. Second of all, his attire. He has Alberto Del Rio's tights on. Just green tights. Looks nothing like him at all. It, he's doing Randy Orton's fucking entrance on top of that, which makes no goddamn sense. I, I know he's part of, you know, he was, uh, you know, he was part of, um, oh, shit, what was the fucking group called? Okay, it wasn't Evolution, it was called, um, how the fuck, I forgot. Oh my goodness, it was him and Cody, I forgot the name of the, someone's gonna tell me in the, in the comment section, but wherever the fuck the group name was, you know, I, I understand, you know, oh, the Dynasty? It was the Dynasty, I think, something like that, I don't know. Um, but anyway, it's, it, 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 it's, it's shit, it's shit, it is awful, it's shit, it's bad, it's horrible, it's, it's piss poor, it's horrific, it's nasty, it's fuck, it's pussy, it's dick and balls. Anything else you want to play in there, guys, in the chat, let me know, or in the comment section, let me know. Find other fucking synonyms for those words for me, penis. <laughs> but Ted DiBiase, oh my god, I'm in rare form today. Ted DiBiase, with his fucking oil slick, baby oil all over his fucking body, comes in at number two. And coming in at number one here this week is... <laughs> oh no. <laughs> what the fuck is this? No, that's not Benoit. Oh no. Maybe, maybe it's Benoit, you know, maybe he's like zombified for him because, you know, he is deceased, but I don't want to make any more Benoit jokes because <laughs> that's pretty, it's pretty pathetic to, to make Benoit jokes for the most part. Alright, no, it's not. It's pretty funny, actually, but... <laughs> Come on, guys. Do you really truly believe that this is Chris Benoit? This is not, this is not Chris Benoit. Come on, like. Now, I will say this. I like the Four Horsemen shirt. Sure. I like the Four, uh, like his uh, tights. I mean, it's all there. But, again, this is not Chris Benoit. This is more like, you know, like David, you know, Jones or some shit. I wasn't going to say David, David Benoit, but that would have been even more fucked up. Uh, and I said it anyway. But... <laughs> This, come on guys, like seriously, this, this, this doesn't look like anything like him. This looks like if, you remember Men in Black, when, you know, whenever, you know, um, you know, Tommy Lee Jones and, and Will Smith, they wanted to try to, uh, make somebody, you know, not remember something, they'll erase somebody's memory, they'll get that little, like, you know, pen flashlight, take a picture, and like, oh, I for I forgot, you know, what the hell happened? You know, if we see Chris Benoit, we know what Chris Benoit looks like. Imagine them coming into our rooms, do, you know, does that little pin flashlight thing, and all of a sudden we see his new Chris Benoit here. It's like, oh, that looks just like Chris Benoit. That looks just like Chris Benoit. That's the only way we can believe that this is Chris Benoit. Outside of that, I don't know who this is supposed to be. What The face scan is awful. The fucking, the, the whole details in his face is awful. awful. His coloring is awful. If you can see the outline of his face is a lot darker than his actual, like, chin line. His fucking jawline is lighter. I don't, I, I don't know, guys. I just don't know. This has been bad. This is, this is, this is so damn bad. But, you know what? I digress. You know, we sent some horrible calls. We seen Loki, which is fucking horrific. We seen Jimmy Snuka, God rest his soul. But whoever made the call, well, he made him look fucking horrific. We're seeing Chris Wall. We're seeing Rick's, uh, uh, a horrible Rick Steiner. I don't know what the fuck it's supposed to be, guys. But you know what? This is it. I'm done. I'm done. I am so done with this episode right now that I'm going to go and get out of here. Guys, that is it for me. If you guys did like this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and like the Facebook page. Or both links are down below. Don't forget about WCW Thursday Nitro. And uh, that's going to be a fucking great episode tomorrow. But, guys, that is it again. And I'll see you guys later. You guys have a good day. Peace out.